It's 9.30, I'm about five miles in. I uh, just passed the first person I've seen today since camp. And I think I'm gonna sit here and eat some peanut butter and honey. Uh, this feels a lot like North Carolina. Uh, long, steep climbs, uh, steep descents. Um, it's not a lot of water though. Vermont had water everywhere. This is much drier. But look at the sky. No humidity. Well, I mean, sure there's humidity, but it's so much nicer. Hey, getting into actual climbing stuff now. So, going up there. I'll have lunch in a minute. And I'll turn this back on. This, this is Lambert. Ridge, and this is where I'll be having lunch. I'm 10.1 miles into the day. Uh, this area really reminds me a lot of northern Georgia, southern North, North Carolina. Um, this climb has been, I said climbing before, it's not really a climb in the sense of hand over hand or whatever. I'm hiking up it, but this reminds me a lot of when I was coming down Blood Mountain. So the Sobos, when they go up Blood Mountain, will be experiencing what I'm doing coming up here. Let me show you where I'm going. Right, see that tower in the center? That is Smarts Mountain. So that's where I'm going. Let's zoom in. Uh -oh. So that's where I'll be in a little bit. It's a few miles away. Uh, my goal is to get as far as I can today and as far as I can tomorrow. I think to have a short, short or shorter day into Lincoln, New Hampshire, where I can do laundry, get showered, and all that good stuff. Um, so this view is pretty nice. Some of the hippies and their damn windmills put them on top of all the mountains, murdering birds and whatnot. Big long rock wash, rock stairs, out of there, wood stairs, more rock stairs, rebar stairs, looks like more rock stairs. This mountain ain't playing. Okay, so the White Mountains are apparently way out there. Like way back in the back. So that, that is where I'm headed. And over that way, the tall ones. Apparently, that seems to be Vermont. Apparently. I don't know about these other ones. It's 4.24 p.m. I think on about mile 18, I have three or four and a half miles to go. I'm not sure yet, but I've got 1.2 to the top of this. Uh, that's the way I'm going. Uh, this is very tiring. <laughs> uh, New Hampshire's gonna get the best of me, I think. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to slow down, but I wanna get to Lincoln on Tuesday. It's currently Sunday. So it requires that I do 20, 20, 20. Um, and that's why I might go a couple extra today and then a couple extra tomorrow if I can so that it's more like 22, 22, 16. Give me a little more extra time in town because I want to get in there and get food, laundry, and get out the following day, one night in a motel. Because <sighs> I got to get done with this. 
At least I'm not going straight up that. But this is tough at the end of the day. All right, so I caught my foot on that route right there. That happens all the freaking time. Every once in a while, it's on a 10 foot drop off like we're looking at right here. And I tell you what, I still, I've said it a hundred times, I don't know how anybody completes this trail without serious injury. I've done that probably three times today, twice in uh, situations like that where had I fallen, it would have hurt really, really bad. Um, somehow my foot generally just comes loose and I regain my composure. But uh, I think on that one, you know, I actually kind of tore my shoe a little bit. So some like piece of that root stuck in my shoe and basically grabbed my foot. So imagine you're walking down the sidewalk and somebody grabs your foot from behind. And then you have to not fall on your face. And then combine that with a 10 foot drop filled with big rocks. But hey, nothing bad's happened yet. So hopefully it won't. <laughs> 